Well, I'm going to share how I repaired and renovated my room. It started with a leak. You can see here the plumbing from the upstairs bathroom right above the bedroom. And this is the second time I've had to replace it, but this first time I'm videoing it. So as you can see, the water had been sitting there for a while, it's rotted. Here's the first repair from the, uh, from the leaky toilet. I uh, reinforced it with like a three-fourths plywood and then placed that there. I had to take the fan off. And of course there's some colored boards that had sit in the garage to save some money. They're three quarter inch. Uh, cut those out and reinforce the, the rotted portions of the boards that you could actually stand on the second floor and bounce a little bit and you could see it down here bending. So I thought best that I better reinforce it. And I was real happy. Here you can see uh, that they Back in 72, they cut this out, and look at the thinness in the wood. I'm going to repair that. Now here you can see the top left where a, there you go, where it's being cut out. I paid a plumber to come out because of that rotted uh, copper, uh, or brass, and I didn't want to have to fix that again. So I went ahead and paid a plumber to come out, and as you can see, they are replacing it with the new plastic technology um, and here's where I reinforced that rafter I guess with some metal to uh, just since it's open I thought I'd go ahead and fix it and with some metal I reinforced it so here's where the wiring is and that wiring is I only had one wire one switch that powered that fan so what I'm going to do is go ahead and put another switch, light switch, that's going to power the recessed lighting that I'm going to put in and, and wire for recessed lighting. So I went ahead and bought some wire, Home Depot, and placing the wire down the wall and it just goes all the way down to where the switch is going to be. Here I'm cutting out where the switch is going to go. So I went ahead and carefully measured it and with my box cutter I went ahead and cut into the drywall. And this you want to be very careful, don't want too big, you don't want too small, it has to be just right so it fits in nice and snug. So with this I'm able to do that. I drew the box where I wanted to cut and then I cut it out and you can see there the switch housing fit in perfectly. So then I used 12 gauge. Here's where I the same thing. Used my box cutter and cut out that 4 inch, 4 1 8 inch hole that's required for the recessed lighting that I was going to use from Home Depot. Now the wiring that I did uh, I used a 12 gauge solid wire. I just preferred that and uh, then wired all of the ceiling for all of the recessed lighting. You can see their wiring that goes down here, goes up there so I can access it and then here there's some going to the right to power the all four lights and here's one going to the left that's going to power the, two, the other two lights. Uh, on the other side of the room. And that wiring powers the other one. The fourth light. You can see and I tested it to uh, make sure everything worked before you close anything up. Now I went ahead and cut out the drywall and we've already hung it. Uh, if you want to know how to hang drywall just go take a look at uh, how to hang drywall part one. Here, just uh, something I'm going to show you is make sure you mark where the rafter is at so you know where to screw in the drywall screws. That's the AC vent. So now, tape and float. This is in how to hang drywall part two but I thought I'd go ahead and show you here a little bit of the tape and float that I had to do 
mud, then tape, then mud over the tape. Then, once you get it nice, good consistency, I mean good as level as you can, let it dry and then do another layer. Here's the mud I purchased. Add some water. You want to mix it all up. So that way you get a good consistency on your mud. Pour it inside of your mud holder and go ahead and finish the job. And as you can see that's uh, the tape and float and now it's all nice complete. Now I'm going to let it dry so that way we can start the painting. I'm not going to go over painting because I'm sure everyone knows how to paint, uh, but here's the color that we are going to go for. Please, if you found this useful, laughable, or dislike, comment, like me, and follow.